Hello YouTube, Miss William. I finally broke down and got me a um, a Cuban fiber tarp. <laughs> I kept hearing all these words about them and saying how light they were and how durable they were and all this other stuff. So I decided to try one for uh, my light uh, pack, my my light gear pack. And this is it. <laughs> oh, it weighs like two ounces. I mean. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm going to set it up and rig it up uh, so it's easier to deploy. But it's about uh, packed up as about 5 by 4 or something like that. And I'll, get, I'll, I'll put all the specs in here, but um, I doubt if this thing weighs 2 ounces. I doubt it really does. And uh, so it comes It comes in this little, little bag. I got the uh, camo one. And it's, uh, I got it from uh, HG Hammocks, Hammock Gear. So I put a link for them uh, below in the description box. But um, I'm going to set it up right quick and um, rig it up, and I'll show you how I do that. Tip while I'm doing this, if you have a ball of uh, string or cord, then put a, a ranger band around it. So you can just pull off what you want, and it never... It never gets uh, loose on you and just going everywhere. So, just a little tip there, a trick. Okay, I got it halfway set up, but it, I mean, it's good enough. I don't have enough tie points out here in, in the yard, but anyway, I'll take you around and kind of show you what I did. And so, uh, let me pick you up. Hold on. All right, on either end, I uh, tied a, a heavy-duty um, shock cord. Uh, these came off of an old tarp that I had, an old military tarp. And just uh, have a, a, a prussic knot here and just put a stick through it. And I did that on either end. Now this tarp I got is a 12 foot from here to the other side. So it should be plenty long enough for my hammock. Um, <clears throat> Now on the tie-outs, I also did a shock cord, same thing, uh, with uh, with about 15 foot of line on each uh, on each of the tie-outs. There's one tie-out to the ground to kind of show you how that looks, and then this is another one that is going to to a tree. Okay. And that's just a number 36 bank line, I think is the number of it. It's the heavy duty stuff. But this is the tarp, and it's got uh, tie outs, one on either side in, in this area at that position. So you can actually give it a little bit more room in the tarp. Now, this is the foliage one, this is the one I ordered. And like I said, it has the, the 12 foot beam. So, it is very, 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 very light, um, very packable, and very durable. And with this shock cord, it actually would, is going to be able to withstand the wind even that much more. I'm not sure about these little plastic grommet things here, time will tell, but from all of the um, comments and everything that I've read on this this material it's just the phenomenal stuff it is woven with catgut material so it's very very strong uh, I know a piece of the little repair that they sent with it I tried to rip it I couldn't rip it so um, by hand anyway. so it, for a light setup now for a light setup, this is, I mean, you can't get any lighter than this. It doesn't compact down any further than this. I mean, this is it. Price-wise, uh, I think this one was $275 with, I think it's like $6 shipping. So, if they're not cheap, um, I would not get this any more close to a flame, <laughs> anywhere near a fire. Um, it's not as near as durable as my oil cloths, but it's a lot, lot more compact and a lot more um, 
um, packable. I can just throw this in a pack with my oil cloths and have a second tarp that I can set up as a uh, um, a workstation if I wanted to. I mean, this you saw it. I mean, it packs down like a pair of socks. It weighs nothing. So anyway, let me uh, tear this thing down and I'll show you show you how this setup works. I leave everything attached. I just uh, disconnect it from the the tie out points, and uh, I'll show you how I do all that. <clears throat> to show you how I tie this off to a to a tree, uh, take the uh, lack in around closest to the to the tie off point, and I just loop it back over this way. If you can see that, all right. Now pull it this way. I pinch it, bring it back through, and then grab it there, and just pull it tight. I hold this side to keep it tight. That way you can you can tighten it or whatever you need to do. And it just it just holds it. If it loosens up, all you have to do is just pull on that and pull the other side. So and then when you get ready to undo it, it's a it's a loop knot, so just pull on it and it comes apart. Okay, and I do that on all my tie out points. That way, it's just easy to, to undo. When I'm putting it away, I, I go to the one closest to the tarp and I just wrap the line. And I'm just wrapping it around my hand. Okay. And I leave about two or three feet. Just wrap it tight around the cord. And just tie it off with a half inch. Okay. Hope you can see that in the shadows. Completely down. I hung it, hung my hammock under it just to see how well it would do. And it's got plenty of room under it. It's got probably about a foot on either side. So it's, the 12 foot beam is probably the way to go, I would think. So, anyway, just a Kind of show you that I did test that out. So back to the ridge, I'll show you how I undo that. And really all it is is just a matter of loosening it. It's a prussic knot. Just take the stick out, you're good to go. I'm sure everybody knows how to do a prussic knot, but I'll show you how it's done right quick. All you do is you take a loop of cord, place it over the line and this uh, black line is not the best to show this but you know you go inside the loop one time two times three times and you just pull it tight and that's a prussic okay and that prussic is on on either side of my my line all right, now that the tarp is down, take a dry bag, red one in this case, and I'm just gonna stuff it in this dry bag. And the reason for a dry bag is because most of the time when you tear down the tarp, it's either damp from dew or rain or something like that. You don't wanna just throw a wet tarp in your bag or in your pack. So try to keep a, uh, a dry bag to stuff it in and keep uh, everything else in the pack dry.
and there's my tarp. And all we gotta do is just take the guideline down and put that in there as well so I've got a complete package in the, in the whole thing. About a five by four, right there. <laughs> complete tarp, amazing. Now, this tarp is not cheap. 275 but for people who like to go light you can't get any lighter than that durable it is a lot more durable than the little plastic tarps that I've, I've bought throughout the years and they last maybe one season um, so it's a little bit stronger than that um, is it going to replace my oil, oil cloth or my um, Egyptian cotton oil cloths no uh, long term I still believe that, that um, oil cloth is the way to go so um, anyway but that is a light option going to a small day pack or a um, an emergency pack or, or something like that 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 um, or you know if you want to just do a, a trek and then won't carry a lot of weight with you that would be certainly the ticket that in the hammock and Man, you're good to go, especially summertime. So I hope you got some tips and tricks out of this. I put the links to um, to the hammock store below, and so you go guys can go and check them out. From looking at it, it looks like a, a very well built tarp. Now, like I said, I just got it. I have used it. This is the first time I set it up, and um, so time will tell. But all the reviews on this has been fantastic. The the Cuban. Um, tarp it's a cuban fiber tarp is what it's called so until the next one you guys get out in the woods go in the backyard with a long stick if you do uh, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives we'll catch you again soon